of like women who have overactive imaginations and um, try to show their, their plastic horses like real ones. I remember I only brought three horses with me because that's all I had and I saw a show uh, advertised in Horse Illustrated magazine. Uh, it's called Model Horse Jamboree in Pomona and I went. Didn't win anything. I entered the beginning kind of novice division but I learned so much from the experience and I kind of fell in love with the performance side of it which is kind of horses tacked up and um, saddles and costumes that I decided I would try that and that's avenues really worked for me. The first show I had was last year, um, and it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be, like, hectic, but it was still pretty nerve-wracking. The first, I guess the first event I ever went to was Briar Fest 2004. I think it was 2004, yeah. Somewhere. Easier to show on real horses, and we laughed, and the more I thought about it, the more sense it made. So we started showing out there, I think. I think 97. Since the first one I went to was Lone Star Live, which is down in Dallas. It's a huge show. And yeah, I was just you know taking my few horses that I had, but yeah, mm -hmm. how big it was. And it was fun because I did well. Shortly after I moved down to, to the Midwest, um, started going to shows. I've probably got at least 400 that are good enough to show, which would mean no marks and chips or anything like that, good paint jobs and everything, but I suppose I've got around 600 total. Mm, about 120 or so? At one point I owned over 2,000. Maybe 200 at the most. I thought a lot, I guess not that many for these people, uh, a couple hundred maybe, 150 or something. Probably three to 400 of the original finish and 150 of resins. Well, I know that online because I maintain their website, they're 1,038. Actual models, more than that. <laughs> Out of pocket, for me, I probably spend like maybe 800 a year. <laughs> too much. Like three or four hundred. Fifteen hundred dollars? Not too bad. She would spend more if you had more money, I'm sure. Possibly a thousand dollars. Yeah, a few thousand dollars at least. Probably about six thousand dollars. I have no clue. Um, Oh my. <laughs> $20,000 maybe? Actually, he's been uh, very supportive, let's say, in comparison to some other husbands who I've heard they won't uh, help load boxes in or load boxes out or they won't go get lunch and stuff. Very. But we kind of do everything this way. I mean, whether it's watching sports or going to sports or going to this or going to, you know, different programs at the lead center, whatever, we both, it might be a thing that we, one doesn't like as well as the other, but we just always do it. But this he really likes, and he likes the harness stuff, so that's what he usually does. You got that when she was 12 years old? Yeah. Yes. And she's 61. So she's at 50 years. Can you see from right here? Oh. Perfect. Yeah. I couldn't ask for better. Very supportive. He um, sometimes goes to show with me, and um, will help me name horses and put them on the table. Doesn't necessarily enjoy it himself, but he's definitely a keeper, so. Very. He's <laughs> very understanding. Um, it's always when we go to shows and Briar Fest, trying to, look at this one, look at that one. Do you think this would show well? You should buy this, and he tries to haggle prices for me, so. I think he has a little bit more fun than he lets on. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's, you know, interesting. You, get it round some stuff, um, it might look cool or something, but I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really even know much about horses or anything, so I guess I've learned some stuff by hanging around, but um, yeah, I, it's pretty much all. I don't think I would, you know. You wouldn't go by yourself? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh -uh. It's 
it is her love and her passion, and that's you know that's why I'm here, and I can support her um, if I can. Um, you know, drive down here and you know spend the time with her. But I mean, it's a uh, it's it's her baby, and I'm glad that she has something she really she really enjoys. You know, they would they would say I got I wouldn't have time to do that. You know, even with my wife. But uh, I uh, we like I said. You know. I sit and watch football though. <laughs> One, but she's got two more in the next month and a half or so, so she's starting to go quite a bit more. Uh, every couple of months? No, when, whenever it is, I was, I've was. i always gone to them. She likes someone to go with her, so... I don't know. I don't think he really cares. <laughs> but since I like them, and I collect them and love them, He's pretty open-minded. He would have thought it was pretty cool before he met me and somebody just told him about it. Yeah, he would have thought that's interesting. Because he's an animal person generally, so. From people I tell, you know, because people don't even know that's really a hobby most of the time. Mainstream people. So when you tell your friends you're going out of town, like, where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to a model horse show. They say, are you kidding me? Usually, and then they don't even understand why. I'm like, well, people go to Star Trek conventions and stuff, but I equate it to around that type of thing. First thing you usually get is people just amazed that it even exists. I mean, if they're not familiar with it at all, they they'll know what a briar is. They've heard that before, most of them. But they just, you know, and then it's, well, how do you do it? You know, they're just plastic. Most people just are like, okay, <laughs> don't ask any more questions. I try to explain that it really is. Um, such an art form just like uh, paintings are or other forms of sculpture it's just we strive for realism so we c try to conduct them like a real horse show and that kind of throws people off so I don't think most people are really open to the idea um, but once you immerse in it it's fascinating it's a fascinating hobby mm, like a 1 to 10 because <laughs> when he comes with me, he acts pretty interested, but <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis, I know he does not think about it. Not really. Maybe 5 to 10 percent interested. <laughs> he will push me to, if I want something, to go ahead and get it. Sometimes I'll be thinking, yeah, do I need it? And if you want it, you know, so yeah, he's, he's the instigator sometimes. <laughs> do you need this work for anything? Not yet. It's it's a nice break for me. I mean, hey, you get to drive somewhere and you stay in a hotel. It's kind of fun. You see big open areas. You know, not this room, but I mean, the, just Nebraska. Uh, it's a it's a it's a nice break. And you try not to laugh because you, like, really you're la you're getting stressed out about this. That's pretty weird. You know, it's it's her hobby and her passion, and you know, and I and I love being able to help her with that if I can. I mean, I, I enjoy going. And, and she didn't go going. But uh, I think we're, there's not a lot of husbands and wives that go together to the show. I mean, there's more ladies showing, which is okay, but I, I have a lot of fun going. And we travel a lot of miles to go to them, so, you know. Uh, and we've got live horses too, we've got real horses, so. We've been in the horse business all of our life, basically. So this is just another sideline. Being an auctioneer while you get it all in sidelines. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs>